one of the nicest things I've opened this year. The danger of this is it makes me want to move to the Cotswolds. Oh, it's yummy. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell, bell smart. <gasps> oh! <gasps> oh! And they said Santa didn't exist. Good morning, Sarah J. Templeman. How are you? I'm good. I am pumped for another Let's Go. Woohoo! Final one of the year. Oh, my God. Is it going to be good? It's going to be the best one yet. What's happening on the show today? What do you want for Christmas? All I want for Christmas is you, Hodge. Oh. Really? Crafting, we make gifts. Lookbook festive styling with Georgina and Emily. What to wear on Christmas Eve? Christmas Day. Oh, Boxing Day New Year's Eve. Actually, not. It's Christmas Day. Boxing Day New Year's Eve. I'm Sarah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lily. How are you? I'm good. How are you? So this is Lily. Hi, Lily. She's Hi. an artist and a model, and she's doing our craft segment today. What are you making, Lily? Pretzels <laughs> with chocolate and peanut butter. Hi. 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 Ava, this is Georgina. Hello. Hi. I can see you. <laughs> okay. Okay. So this is Emily. Oh my God, Emily. This is Rich. Hey. Emily. Rich films all behind the scenes. Oh, amazing. In our fashion shoot, we're really looking. So you froze yourself to death. Yeah. Today. It was I'm so impressed with you. Wasn't that bad? <laughs> Was just bracing. Yeah, it only hurt afterwards. How did you join the quiz? Great. I fucking won. So. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. Well, congratulations. Yeah. I lost track of everything. I know I won, but Georgie disqualified me because my team were too creative with their questions and hers were so linear and impossible to answer. You sound completely fine about it. Yeah, I'm clicking my pen like a crazy person. <laughs> um, do you want to put your cracker? It's not Christmas Day. Yeah, I know, but you'll get other ones for Christmas Day. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, I lost again. Yay. What a surprise. Will you wear the hat though? Oh, tell me the joke. Why didn't anyone bid for Rudolph? and Blitzen. I don't know why. They were too dear. You might be a signature. No, I wish. <laughs> that was last year. Oh, how nice. I love going back for Christmas. And my sister actually now is in Turks and Caicos. Oh, oh, really? What's, what's that? It's my family. Love Island, but Netflix mm -hmm. version. It came out with it yeah. in lockdown. Oh, is it when they don't bomb? Yeah. 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 They, they don't bomb. Yeah. Yeah. And they do it. Don't yeah. They're like, fuck it. My friend was actually a producer yeah. on the show and she sent me pictures and she had to sit in the middle of like a couple so that they wouldn't talk and stuff when they weren't filming. Because of COVID, they only have a couple of people like that living with them and they also live on a boat oh. next to the resort and then the rest of the team. This is in Turks and Caicos. My sister stay in Drake's <gasps> mansion that he stays in. No oh way. Oh my God. Grand a night. Oh, she's so complaining. I'm so tired. It's not like a holiday. And I'm like, it is a holiday. I'm a producer. You go and do it. Get out of here. What are you doing on this boat? Okay, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to wear on Christmas Day? Pajamas. Normally, in the middle of the road. Not like super casual, not like super fancy. This year, I don't know whether to do really fancy because we've all had a shit year. Have you had a shit year? I've had a great year. I haven't really been able to go out and get dressed up, so I might give it a go. Or yesterday, mm -hmm. I got sent knitted floor length cream dress. What is more comfortable than being in a knitted cocoon? So I might do that. What's your favourite Christmas food? Pigs in blanket. What are you going to wear on Christmas Day? Always comfy. I hate being uncomfortable at the table. Like jeans, no. Oh, I'm definitely not hungover. Who's hungover? I'm not hungover, but I also haven't had any sleep, so. No, no, it's fine. I've never done a Zoom quiz. It's oh. my first and last. Well, you seem to have fun last night. No, it's great. How long do you think you are, Hodge, from being ready? I've got one more makeup to do. Play quick. So, Christmas film. Love, they all said the holiday. Fashion trends, so they've all said sweatpants. <laughs> are we putting in the assets afterwards? I love those boots. Are they Yeah. Yeah, they're not leather. Yeah. I want the white ones. They're wellies, basically. They are. How long was that you are? I've spent 40 pounds very well. We'll start the interview. Yeah, I just don't want you to go live without me. So, we've got Christmas gear, Christmas film, Christmas okay. tradition. Now, since I fired Maya, I might sit on her desk. Well, I'm gonna miss Maya if I'm honest. I thought she was I know, nice. I will really miss her, but you know. Gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> you can't make an omelette without cracking a few eggs. Uh, it's that security. Yeah, she's refusing to leave. You might want to bring her trunch and she's got wellies on. <laughs> you know that I'm winding you up, don't you? She's not an idea. <laughs> <laughs> Don't watch behind the scenes, man. <laughs> that's going in. Right, we've just been through the script. Can we change a couple of answers? Is that right? Yeah. So I know that we all love the holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything like less well known that anyone likes? <laughs> Emily, you've got Home Alone and the holiday. Yes. Yeah. 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 We're going to stick with 
that? Oh, I'm not really a film person. But do you really watch this? Oh, oh, I watched The Holiday last week, yeah. What did you just do? Just went through the gush points with the panel. All four of them were saying The Holiday was their favourite Christmas film. We just needed to fix things up a little. What's your favourite Christmas film? The Holiday. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I don't think I've ever seen that. Have you seen it? I've never seen it. Never heard of it. I've never seen it, no. No, I haven't. It's Chevy Chase though, right? Home Alone 2. Because it's in New York. The scene where he has ice cream when he gets all the room service. That was Chef on the stream as a kid, wasn't it? It's a Wonderful Life. Christmas with the Crank. Home Alone. There's a film that I watch at Christmas actually isn't a Christmas film, but I really like About Time. Such a nice film. I like It's a Wonderful Life. Right, Christmas. Oh, my favourite Christmas film is The Family Stone. Oh, oh it is the most underrated Christmas film. Everyone needs to watch it. It's got SJP, oh. Diane Keaton, Rachel McAdams, and Luke Wilson. Such a good story. Do you want to come with me now? Start. Lily Woody works yeah. today. Zara. Trouser suits, matching sleepless cardigan. Boots are from oh, Topshop. What are you doing then? What are you wearing today? An ASOS suit from last year. Some pretty little thing heels. Just some gold jewellery. Festive um, but not. Are you feeling festive now? We got our tree yesterday, so we're going to put it up tonight. And I feel like that'll be yeah. sorted. Yeah. Emily, what are you wearing today? Urban Outfitters velvet jumpsuit. So I've got some Converse on. These are my Comme de Garcons on ones. Ava, what are you wearing today? Head to toe Zara, which I've just realised now. This is meant for my 2021 holiday. Where are you going? Yeah. You don't know. My heart. When do you think we'll be able to go on holiday next? April. Okay, cool. I'm yeah. going to book it now. Hi, sorry. Oh, I'm just taking you all in. You look fabulous. Yeah. Those shoes. <laughs> Charlotte Collins would steal those off your feet. Happy with the shots? Put Ava at the end because she's the pop colour. No, I think that's right. Happy with that. I think good. Yeah? You look good. Right, girls, you've got to bring it. Big energy. You've got to be ten times, I mean, I know, like, you're vlogging every minute of the day, but ten times more enthusiastic on screen. Even if you feel really over the top. Just remember, like, high, high energy. Like, more is more. You're my favourite panel so far, but don't tell anyone. <laughs> I'm super pumped for this one. So we're going in three, two. Hello and welcome to the Lux Girl Show. I don't know about you, but I start my Christmas list in like April. Yes, no, I have a note on my phone and I just add bits and bobs when okay. I'm like, oh, I can't buy myself that. Beaded belly band. And when you get it, it's so useful. If the ending is sad, maybe I only want to see the first 10 minutes. No, you've seen the saddest bit. You only understand if you're in my family, which is so weird about Christmas. I know, I can't bring this back. <laughs> Mum insists. On printing a menu, <laughs> even though everybody knows what we're having, I don't know why. Oh, she just so goes cute. very like fancy. And before that, take a look at some festive nails in spray from the gorgeous Ava. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, so much. How did that go? I think it went really well. It took a while to get going, but I really loved the chat. We were laughing, sitting there, the concept of Georgina Lennon's mother writing out a Christmas menu. I, I'm tickling me still. You girls, new chat, new perspectives. Bye. Three Lux Girl shows under our belt. In 2020, that's not bad for a pandemic year. I'm excited for it to go out. I hope everyone loves it. Ooh. Good morning, Georgie Courage Call. How are you? A bit late for the podcast. How was your weekend? Good, thanks. You? Great. Christmassy. I, are I you kind Christmas of, ready? I don't know if I'm Christmas ready, but I'm enjoying Christmas. Yeah, I'm definitely not Christmas ready, but I'm enjoying a Christmas tree and a few carols on the sun off. Got a fair bit to do this week in anticipation of Christmas. I'll get there. What's happening this week? I'm doing my Christmas shopping this week. I bought my husband two presents. That is it. That is the extent of my Christmas shopping. Uh, how many presents do you need? Well, I'm not worried about him. I'm worried about my children. And the fact that one of my children has a birthday a week today. Me, me, right? Yeah. It's going to be four. I can't bear it. Four. No Flies, hey? Where does the time go? Let's show Lark, see how it goes. Who's podcasting? Sorry, I know I'm a bit late. Should we go and get started? Yeah, I have seen it, but just remind me, it seems like a long time ago. Yeah, it's looking really nice. Just see the top, Laura. Those are the products that I picked, only because red always does so well. Oh, red. oh no, I like that. I just wonder whether that one would be better. Oh, hang on, hang on. Let's just stop for a sec. Um, that one. I reckon that would do quite well. I'm so bored of seeing that I copy. Know. The leopard skirt's quite nice. Yeah, we could take That's the red. That's in, isn't it? That's at the top, I think. Yeah, I think it's in there, uh, Hero. Did you get the message about printing the podcast notes? What did you just do? 26. 31. Stop it! <laughs> Sorry. Fucking, I've lost it. So annoying! Can you resist that when people are counting just to say random numbers? I think it was 35. Okay, good. So, what did you just do? Just looking at a commercial story for New York. And how's it looking? Yeah, good. It's their first with us, so I just want to make sure it looks really the best it can. I'm going to recount. Okay, sorry. <laughs> that happens all day. I, I might have words with those things. No. Oh. Hi, 
fire? Is that why it's going to happen much today? That's happened twice. Yeah. And, and it's going to stop. We've got one more cut to do, and it's all over in about an hour and a half. As long as it's not like a continuous. Oh, oh, it's it's just quite story. painful in there, yeah. so don't worry. Do you know who's moving in here? I'm not sure. All right, thanks, Sorry. guys. No, no, don't worry. That's a relief. Oh, God. What are we talking about the podcast today? We are talking about cocktails. Which favourite cocktail? The Cante. <laughs> My husband did something really helpful yesterday. He said, right, next weekend you must write your letters to Father Christmas. I was like, next weekend? Which little freaking elf is going to find whatever's on their list two days before Christmas? I said, you want to shut up? Hello and welcome to the Shut Up Team podcast. What's happening? Here's three announcements coming in. Three today to start at 12.01am on Wednesday. A lockdown? Yeah. Well, no, I'm just Googling it. So I thought it was just pubs and restaurants. Yeah, and tier three shops, gyms, and personal care services such as hairdressing can stay open. Oh, right. Oh, well, there we go. So the only thing that closes is restaurants and pubs. Yeah. So hospitality are fucked, basically. Yeah, it's so sad at Christmas time. It's like the best time to go to a pub. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well, that's always next year. Yeah, true. Oh, where are we going now? We are going to the Selfridges Christmas Market. Hi. You okay? Yeah. Stressful day? It's fucking Christmas. Is it raining? I'm not really. Oh, not that much or not raining? I can't go in the front, so we're going to be squidged. We're going to film in the taxi. We won't be able to. I think we'll just have to do it when we get there. Good afternoon, guys. How are you? Well, we've had better days. We've had a manic Monday at work. We've just heard that London's going into tier three. I know lots of the rest of the country are, but just so shit for all those restaurant owners and independent hotels and sad times. Anyway, we're going to find some Christmas spirit because here we are. Where are we? By Selfridges. They've got a Christmas market. I don't know if it's going to be allowed to carry on, but we're here. No. Maybe it's outdoors, so maybe it'll be allowed. Yeah, it might be allowed. Who knows? Let's go and find out. Lord. Yeah. To be fair, it's not that okay, far. It's a helter skelter. I bet you love a helter skelter, don't you? I do, Rich. I'll Especially see you Christmas. There. What a <laughs> shit news, eh? Yeah, the thing I am just sad about. I have a little girl who is four in a week. She is growing so fast. I just want to freeze time, save her innocence and her preciousness. We obviously met Father Christmas last year, but she's at a really magic age. Yeah. It's going to be out of my reach. I was so excited to take her to meet Father Christmas and it's off. And she still really thinks that he's coming down the chimney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's so much fun. Otto's like, people at school say it's not true. I'm like, Otto, what do you believe? Uh, you have to believe. How old is Otto now? He's eight. I was age 30 and my dad said he's say to me, you have to believe. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah. yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm Claire. Do you want to go straight in? Oh, wow. Wow, it's a proper Christmas market. Feeling Christmassy? Yeah, I am now. It goes along here. And then you go outside where you've got coffee, some rice, and a bar. What do we have here? Can I just try a tiny sip of the hot chocolate? Thank you. How's it taste? Ooh. Creamy. Creamy. Luxury. Oh, that's really good. Wow, what is in there? It's our bedroom chocolate. In the hot chocolate? Oh, okay. Wow. It's actually like Melted. liquid chocolate. Delicious. Is that marzipan? It is, yeah. I love marzipan. We were talking about pick and mix on the show the other day. I mean, flying saucers. Flying saucer fan? They are the best, the best, the best. Reindeer poo? Reindeer poo? What does reindeer poo That's taste like these cool. days? Gourmet confectionery. Oh, and you do pick and mix. Can I please have a banana and a shrimp? Just, and a just snowy two. star. What's your favourite? Cocktail candy, some separate bread. What's your favourite pick and mix? Not into pick and mix. You don't like them at all? Give me chocolate. Any day. Of the week. Anything sour. Rich, yeah. what would your favourite pick and mix be? I like the snowy stars. The jazzy, remember them? They are. That's like a Christmas jazzy. That tastes excellent. Delicious. Well, thank you very much, sir. Can you buy your Christmas tree here? And if you live in London, they'll deliver it for you. I reckon that's an eight foot. Yeah, about eight foot, yeah. yeah. What's that? Yeah. It's like a Rubik's Cube, but different. It goes down the side, so you can oh, look to well, that, that one. Work, isn't it? Oh. Magic pen. Top secret messages. Oh, that's so sweet. DIY gingerbread house. We love these guys. Biscuitiers. Best sellers <laughs> of vintage year. Oh, I like that. Snow covered eucalyptus. Yeah. Oh, look, that's nice, Laura. Look, that's spray. Is it real? Yeah, that's real. Look at the colour of that. Isn't that lovely? Buy them. It looks really weird, that does, don't you think? It's quite weird, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, these are a Christmas must. I don't know how we walk past these. Oh, my children would love them. Oh, it's really raining. Do they sell umbrellas here? What happens here? Helter Skelter. It's a merry-go-round, but only for the tiny people. Oh, shame. Can anyone go on the Helter Skelter? Anyone go on the Helter Skelter. We had Santa go on the Helter Skelter. He's quite well practiced at going down things at speed though. Yeah, he loves a thrill, doesn't he? Okay, we're going to brave the rain. Have you got your own food stand? Partnership with Dominic Cruz, which he found out of Street Thieves. Uh, Family Chef Project, Only Jerkin, which is fried chicken. Gully, Indian street food. Bellon, it's Venezuelan. Vegan hot dogs. Cheese wheel. Pastoral, tossed up in Parmesan. I love it when they do that. We need to go and see the cheese yeah. wheel, I yeah. think. What are you going to try? Venezuelan, look, this is it. This is what you get, the Venezuelan van. Wow, how good is that, that look? Well, it's amazing. How would you describe that, mate, yours? How are yours? This one. With beef, with chicken, black beans, rice on the meat, pico de gallo salad, rice plantain, black beans, avocado chunks, hardcore bread. Sounds delicious. You a Venezuelan food fan? 
I don't, I don't know. I've never had Venezuelan food. Mainly, they just eat crackers. Guys, no, we're filming. Can we try? Can you try a sweet potato? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Thank you. Oh, it's a big potato. I wouldn't choose this small one. I brought me. Thank you. <laughs> How's that taste? Really crispy. Yummy. It's so crispy. It's quite naughty. It's raining. I'm just gonna stand on here. You came for the shelter. You stayed for the sweet potato. Not very good, Grant. I haven't tried this one yet, so I have to come down and get it. We need to go and see the pasta. Thank you. Can we get us at a bar there. Should we go and get a mulled wine? Um, for a bit spread of a bit of joy. <laughs> in the rain. I love standing in the rain. You don't. I know you better than you know yourself. I'm always having a dry one. Without food. Yeah. Oh, we go and get, get a bit of cheese. Is that alright? Right. We're not allowed to drink without food, so we're going to go and get some pasta. Good show. Oh my god, who would have oh, believed okay. it? 2020. Oh bloody ho. <laughs> Everyone's turning into the Grinch now, aren't they? What are you going to go for, Georgie? Have you uh, seen the menu? Laura, what do you think? Mushroom? I reckon mushroom, yeah. yeah. It looks delish. Lovely, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't eat mushrooms, but it still tastes nice. See you now. That's beautiful. Thank you very much. Enjoy. You so, enjoy. Thank you very much. How long does one of these last? A week, two. A week? Yeah. It's very strong cheese, isn't it? Can you manage all that? Do you want me to eat it? Oh, no. <laughs> How's it taste? This is a treat day. Oh, rich. Oh, my God. Now, don't put these down. These are our chickens. Yeah, holding on to it. <laughs> it's very tasty. Your mushrooms are so good. Don't eat it all, so we can't go back yeah, to the bar. Which one are you going to make now? Which one are you going to Smoke pancetta. Smoke pancetta. I'm going in. Three, two. One. How's that taste? Mm. Delicious? Mm, that's real good. Pancetta fan? I have to say. Yeah, you're going to like that. Delicious. Thanks, guys. Can we just go buy the ice cream? Uh, when was the last time you had fried ice cream? How does this work? Have you tried deep fried ice cream before? Actually, this is new. We're changing it each week, so there's something a bit different. What are you going to go for? What do you reckon? Cinnamon, apple crumble? Very limited edition. What about chocolate? Do you want chocolate? Do you think cinnamon's more different? Cinnamon. I think it should look better. Can we have a cinnamon, please? Oh, look, Rich, they're doing it, they're doing it, they're, they're doing, doing it. it. What's in there? That's the batter. Look, now it's been fried. Here we go. Here we go. Woohoo! Did you ever think oh, you'd see such a oh thing? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, it's a Christmas cracker. Oh, Laura. Pull it, guys. Oh, she gets competitive. She definitely avoids it. I told Mimi how to cheat when you open a Christmas cracker yesterday. That is unbelievable. <laughs> I told you I was she's like, darling. No, back off. <laughs> <laughs> wow, congratulations. You won. It's all yours. Oh, you, you have you it. Thank you so much. Oh, oh, thank you. You can wear the crown. Because <laughs> you won. Well done. Congratulations. <laughs> well done, What's the joke? What's furry and minty? I don't know. What's furry and minty? The polar bear. Oh, polar bear. you like that? Yeah, it's pretty good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wowzers. Oh, it's got a fun. Oh, the Christmas on. Okay. Like You're a Christmas winner. It's a big crown, isn't it? Okay. Oh, it's very hard. How's it taste? Oh, cold. It's weird that it's warm on the outside. What do you think? Isn't that amazing? Fried ice cream. That's that very good. Hi, Natasha. Hi, Natasha. I was the first one that had the first one that they served. What did oh. you have? The uh, apple crumble with cinnamon. Oh, yeah. That's the one we've got. It's really nice. It's excellent. It's kind of hard to get your mind around. Fried ice cream. You need a break. But it is so lovely. <laughs> nice to see you. I'll be back in an hour. Man, that guy is the <laughs> epitome of Christmas cheer. Does he know we're in tier three? Yeah, Obviously not. The news yet. I'd like him to hang around me a bit more. He's the crumble. Bloody good. Where are our meals? Where have all our meals gone? Yeah. Oh, they're there. I ain't no funny. Oh my god. I thought we'd lost our meals. Dear Laura, no. I've got plenty of food. Can I have a drink? Do I get in? Am I in? I brought a buffet. I can't see. It's raining. If you don't want your food anymore, that's fine. And then I'll give you a ticket. You don't have to show your meal. You don't. I only have one more bit of apple crumble. I'm uh, so long. Apple crumble. It is only Monday. Don't I it. anticipated tier three was coming and I think I went to four restaurants last week. Can we have a mulled wine? How many? Do you want a mulled wine? Yeah, I'll have a mulled wine. Oh, this smells really festive, doesn't it? Are you in the Christmas spirit now? I am, so I hate getting my hair wet. The hell's a scale to open? Double check, oh my I know sometimes if it's Please wet and then it's too fast. I'm not going unless you go. Oh wow, you guys are going, let's go. You're going to make me go down the hell's a I love this. Oh, it's only a slide, you'll be fine. I'm not scared. Okay, good, just don't want to do it. <laughs> right, here we go. Oh, I haven't had a mulled wine yet this year. No, I haven't either. We tried to buy some in Sainsbury's oh, yesterday and they so sold out. Merry lockdown Christmas, Merry everybody. Merry tier three. Happy bloody tier three. Cheers, you're not even allowed to cheers. Oh God, you can't do anything. That taste. Oh, and it's really hot. And it's not too sweet. This is the place to come for a mulled wine. I have to say, that's delicious. Oh. Cora just said to me, are we actually going down there? Please say yes. Please say yes for me. She's going I'm going. It looks a lot more glamorous inside, doesn't it? Uh, Merry Christmas, here we are. Three pals in a little skelter. How do you feel? The mulled wine's tasty though, on the upside. Actually, it's a really good mulled wine. I have to say, I would come here, the mulled wine and fried ice cream every day. You into your fried ice cream, Oh, it's so good. It's it is quite fast. With the rain, obviously at the bottom, people walking and things. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Why is that funny? Sometimes she just gets like this. It's a common problem. We're about to go splash. When you come off, if you do a little roly poly or something, chance to maybe get a little bit of dirt on your face. Can you go first and do a demo? Yeah. I'm actually serious. Are you actually going to do no, this to me? All right, go stand down there then. You can do that? Yeah. You're not coming. Well, I want to film with my camera and they're like, oh, well, I wouldn't recommend it, but. Oh, right. Well, you're right, Jack, then. Well, I might, I might just do it anyway. Probably be all right, right? Be all right. Yeah. Maybe I could hold your camera at the bottom. I've got heels on. Is that okay? Here we go. Oh, come on. It's a hell to scale 
on this properly. No. Okay. But we do say don't grab onto the side. This is reinforced with steel. You'll hit your finger. Oh, it's quite a long way down. You'll be fine, Georgie. You're going to slide. Oh, Good God. luck. Coming down. Can you hold my camera while I do this? Probably ill-advised, isn't it? But I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah. Should we go? I just got slightly <laughs> irrationally scared to come down that for a moment. I don't know why. It felt almost as scary as the bungee jump. What is Christmas without a little bit of fear? Eh? Oh. How did that go? That was fun. I highly recommend it. Not in the rain. I have to say. Well worth a visit to the Selfridges Christmas Market. And you know, who are you if you don't take on the house of Skelter? See ya. See ya. Bye. Good morning, Georgie Corridge Cole. How are you? All right, thanks. What's happening? <laughs> Jesus, you got a lot. Some pampas grasses. You know what that means, don't you? It takes me back. Yeah, it does. I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't think swinging's really for me, actually. Uh, Neither me. Okay. Each to their own. These remind me of school. What is it? Cotton? It's nostalgic. I don't know why. Is it science or textiles or something? Very festive, aren't they? What is happening today? It's the last show. It was the penultimate show. But we're having such a problem with our guests on Thursday that we have sacked Thursday's show and we're doing one bumper special now. We had a couple of chefs coming in. And now that London's gone into tier three, everyone is is scurrying around trying to pivot into delivery and takeaways and this bullshit that is going on. What's happening on the show today? Lots of chat, last minute gift ideas, our favourite subscription service. Oh, she called me this morning in hysterics that I picked Pasta Evangelist. But why is that hilarious? I'm not your classic pasta eater. Actually, to be fair, that is hilarious. What's made us laugh in 2020? Well, what's made you laugh in 2020? Tika the Iggy. Is he Tika the Iggy? This is Tika the Iggy. I have so many cute outfits planned for this year that I couldn't wear. So I just wanted to show you. See this? I love it. I couldn't wear it. Love it. Couldn't wear it. Then there's this. Love it. Couldn't wear it. Love it. Couldn't wear it. Well, you could have worn that and one. This was about to be my cute costume, but no. What are you wearing right now? Right now, I'm yes. wearing everything expensive, everything exclusive, and everything icy. I don't want to say too much because I don't want nobody to buy you. Going out tops with Polly. Going out tops with my brother. That's a good point. You might not call it going out tops. Going out, staying in. Going out tops. <laughs> Staying and getting dressed up tops. Making an effort tops. Date night in tops. Yeah. Oh god, what's happened to Christmas? It's been absolutely mullered. We've got a wine expert coming. We've got Alicia, aka Spilling It, coming on the show. And I've got to edit the script. So see you later. See you later. Morning, Alicia. Morning. How are you? <laughs> I'm everyone's best friend today. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Who bought the wine? What's going on today? Just doing three sparklings, three whites, three reds. All very affordable. Just bring a little bit of glamour and luxury for Christmas this year, and we need it. Two right with you. <laughs> what do you have to look for to get a good value for money? Most importantly, find out what you like. Black fruits type of person or red fruits type of person? Stone fruity person? Citrus person? Once you've understood that, then you'll be able to find loads of wines that fit in that category. What's your pick at the table? So You've got to save one of these bottles from the fire. I've got a big arm space, I'll carry them all. Probably <laughs> Jantz. I really love Jantz. Made in exactly the same way as Champagne. The vineyard was set up in conjunction with Louis Roder. Currently on offer for £14.39. From Waitrose, I think this is my absolute pick. Good morning, Lou Huff, how are you? Good morning, Richard, how are you? Very well. What are we going to do now? We are going to do our final shoot of the year for New Year's Eve. How's the shoot going to run today? We thought we'd finish on a bang with something a little bit more seasonal and do New Year's Eve out. Outfit. One very festive velvet blazer. Three looks all based around one blazer. One slightly more traditional. One with like a roll neck jeans and Chelsea boots. One with a t-shirt and silk skirt. Yeah, it's gonna look super sharp. So it's one item three ways. One item three ways. Hodge Casey, yeah. Georgie's says pasta. Really? Like, Your subscription <laughs> service is pasta evangelist. Actually, I have pasta. Excellent pasta. I've just got over the garlic, I think, from yesterday. It was really um, garlicky, wasn't it? Winnie Malcolm, what are you wearing today? Uh, from ASOS. Bershka, high-waisted jeans, some glittery last season Zara shoes. Laura Black, what are you wearing today? Some Marks and Spencer, cashmere jumper, bash skirt, and some bash boots. That bash skirt is something else. Yes, Heather Seal, what are you wearing today? A ganny dress and boots from Russell and Bromley. Wow, look at them, Bromley. Like Don't piss Heather off today. Stolen Alicia's. You're being very casual about what you're holding there. What is that? A silly sausage 
person. It's like a last minute present idea. Exactly. Georgie Corrie's Cole, what are you wearing today? And other stories top. Very old Marge. Velvet trousers. Golden Goose trainers. I think they're Kenneth J. Lane, my earring. Oh. But don't quote me. Well, I am <laughs> quoting you this whole point. <laughs> Alicia, what are you wearing today? Kitchering. Albo. The jewelry yeah. is Tom Foolery. I think it's the 5th of October. I think that's the brand. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. How you doing, pal? Long time, Rich. Yeah, long time, they say. I'd give you a hug, but we're not allowed these days, eh? Yeah, I know, social distancing. How have you been? Oh, I've been good. How are you, Lou? Oh, He's so, like Christmas. I'm not really fussed about Christmas. No, now. why not? The last two Christmases, all I got was Link's shower gel. But Christmas is different this year, anyway, so. Yeah. Hello, and welcome to the Sherlock's Show. Wine expert Alicia Hansel. A few things up your sleeve that you always buy. Really thick stemmed with these sort of proper. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with it. Mate, looking smooth. <laughs> Shaken. Monster. How are you feeling? I feel comfortable. I feel like I'm being hugged. I feel like you're going to take care of business wearing this jacket. That's exactly what I'm going to do right now. <laughs> Let me just reach for the check right now. Yeah, yeah, pay me whatever you want. Go <laughs> for it. <laughs> what number look is this? Look number one. Inspired by Lou. A velvet emerald green jacket from Reef. Polo neck, which he said is the best polo neck he's ever tried on. H&M. This sort of dark charcoal grey. Black skinny jeans, also from H&M. Chelsea boot from Office. Smart cap down to a T. Blazer doesn't feel like too much of a statement, but it elevates the look to give it something a little bit more interesting. What number look is this Lou? Number two, simple white yeah. shirt from Mr. Porter, fine check, grey wool trousers from the Saints. The star of the show I think is these Rocket and Joan loafers which are amazing. Smart dinner party, a little bit more traditional take on the look but it looks awesome. Tory, £69. Pounds. I've got a black top, a bit like that. Oh, hello. Oh wait, what's going on? We'll just bring you on the show, come on. Come okay, on. great. <laughs> <laughs> so Chris is around, he's going to reveal his identity. Oh, you're doing a little break so she can get changed. Oh, I feel like I've seen you in something like that before. Yeah. This is a feather top from you to Kay. Go, 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 yes. sister, in that one. Ooh, I don't have fun. <laughs> if you want some more fashion inspo, check out what the fashion team are wearing on Christmas Day. Ooh, and you're out, guys. Great. Hello. Oh, hello. He's showing some of the pictures. I was like, I can't oh. miss him in all the jackets. Oh, I admit, you have to put the loafers back on for me. That's so good. I'm not, and then you leave the building until you put that outfit awesome. back on. I think you know oh, my God. So good, right? So good. Oh, look. That's cool. Oh, I love that one. Look who's here for his final SL Man shoot of the year. And check this out. But just look how epic that looks. If you want to want to buy your husband for Christmas, get him a velvet jacket. Oh. So what have I missed? That's, That's the first two. Oh. The final one now. I'm going to get in real trouble I'll be late. if I don't go back and finish this show. Can you quickly get dressed? Yeah. Oh, I love it! I've got to go. And then you're taking me out for dinner tonight, Mayor. Where are you going? Uh, going yeah, don't worry about it. Dorchester or somewhere fabulous. The Dorchester village. Oh, that looks so good with those shoes. Great. Don't leave until I've come back and seen oh, you in the others. Oh, Hang on, I've got to get one more picture. Hang on. And you see the scarf. Got it. How's that look? He looks amazing. I love it. He's just so bloody good at everything. I am so sorry. Sorry. Welcome back. Now I'm joined by wine writer and expert Alicia Hansel. So how was that? Yeah. yeah. Long. I mean, it's one thirty, isn't it? Uh, what's happening now? I've just got to whiz to my house and take a photo for another party story. But you can come and say Merry Christmas. Yeah, go and say you. goodbye to everyone and, and listen. We'll be in touch about date for Jan. Definitely. Have a fab break. Take care. I love you, you We love you. Love we love you too, Carl. Bye. Let's go. I've got your job. In my plane, so if I need you. Have you got a car here? Yeah, I'm gonna drive in. Fine. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Alright, uh, later. <laughs> 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 Merry Christmas, Val. Hey, Merry Christmas. See you later. Ciao. 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 Woohoo! No more show! <laughs> Woohoo! Well done, everybody! <laughs> Hi, yes! Mayor over there is key for life. Oh, is he? Yeah. Amazing. He's just doing a shoot with us. Oh, he looks so great. Please. How are you? You're good. Surviving, packing so many bloody hampers. How's motherhood? You're good. What, did you have a girl? A little girl. Called yeah, yeah. Roxy. Cool. <laughs> Wouldn't have expected anything other than a super cool name. Nice to see you. I'm so glad you're working with Key for Life. That's so good. Yeah, well he now models for us every month. Oh my God, but he loves it. He's great. Yeah. Anyway, lovely bye, to bye, see bye. you. Bye. So that is Alex, the founder of The Social Pack. Lots and Polly has dealt with Naya. It's still going to be there at sort of three o'clock. So Alex is the founder of Social Pantry. She is the person that introduced us to Key for Life. They work with loads of ex-offenders. She's amazing. What a weird coincidence. Where are we going now? Going to my house to have, have a quick photo taken for a story that we are running for Nella Porte about what I want for Christmas. What do you want for Christmas? I don't know. I'll tell you when I've picked it off the website, Rich. On the list of to-dos But what are you, you're going to be wearing products.
it from there, no? I'm gonna be wearing a top and some vinyl trousers, which is like putting on a pair of balloons. They're pretty squeaky. I squeak when I walk in them. So you have to put Vaseline in between your legs to stop the noise. I'm gonna have a piece of cheese, and then I'm gonna go and get change, which will take me two minutes. Lear down the light? I just might, you know, I'm gonna have a bit of cheese, right? I'll have a bit of Lear down the light if it's going, yeah. No, what is it, a corn tin? We're gonna pull out, that's what I wanna know. Oh, I've got truffle honey. You're gonna have Lear down the light truffle honey, Are you kidding me? <laughs> a high low, yeah. Here it is. This, this is the creation of the century. Near Demo Light and Fortnum's Truffle Honey. Oh my fucking god, that's is so good. This will be excellent because... It's like a nutty cheese. It's a nutty cheese like a Conte. Yeah. So you may well take the piss. How's it taste? Oh my god. Oh my god, oh. so good. That made me so happy. Best 15 pounds you can spend. You How? go to the walking balloon. I'm waiting for the squeaks, yeah. Listen to that! Lee was saying this has to fit into a square cross. Is it? That's what she told me. Did she? Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure is the answer. Yeah, so that works. It's that so kind of vibe. Great top. Great top, isn't it? Georgie Courage Cole, what are you wearing now? This is art club, this top. It was really quite reasonable. I love a one shoulder. It's also really nice and loose, so it's a really good eating top. These are less good. Actually, they're very comfortable. They're commando vinyl leggings. They're quite squeaky. Apparently, you've got to put Vaseline on them, and that stops them squeaking. And I'm wearing some very old as well, my own boots. Cat woman called. She wants her trousers back. Give me five minutes. I'll have them straight over. Maybe you need to just swing yourself around a little bit. Perfect. We got it? We got it. We got it. Good morning, Lou. Hop, how are you? Good, how are you? Very well. Is it going to be a good morning? This is my first time in such a long time. Really long time. Is it? A week before Christmas and I just don't feel like there's much merriment in the air. I think there was when there was a vaccine and now everyone's just a bit gutted. You're right, actually. I hadn't really thought about it like that, but now I'm really sad too. If there's anything that can cheer you up, what is it? The fact that we are at the brand new Nanushka store in Mayfair. It opened, I think, last week. I've seen a couple of pictures on Instagram and it looks incredible. Not only, obviously, the collection, but the actual store itself. So I'm really excited to go and see. What are Nanushka doing really well right now? Amazing vegan leather. Big puffer leather coats. Amazing overshirts. Amazing knitted dresses as well this season. Good cozy layers that are still cool and contemporary and modern. Great. Should we go and have a look? Let's go have a look. Hi, Martha. How are you today? The space looks absolutely amazing. So Jonathan goes through the new collection. What we're most well known for, yeah, the high suffer. The vegan leather coat, yeah. it's super beautiful. Something it's so that, cool, you know, right? so this is definitely our best seller. Yeah, Four piece. Five on this? Five twenty-five. Okay. We did vegan leather pieces as well. So that's in cream. And when you say vegan leather, what mm -hmm. is the process that makes a leather vegan? It's actually made of polyester and polyurethane. The reason why we call it vegan leather is there's no any more derivatives okay. throughout the process of making it. And one of your colleagues said that Rihanna was wearing this. Yeah. Rihanna was wearing this? Yeah. yeah. I just posted it on her Instagram yesterday. Isn't this the one that you were wearing in the... It is indeed. We did a shoot last week and I was also wearing it. So me and Rihanna were obviously... Oh, we're in the know. Peas in a pod. I've always said that. Those are cool. Wow. Wow. It's a long dress version of it. Oh my god, amazing. Oh, I love the buttons. Georgia. Sleeveless, Georgia. Georgia Proof. would love that. <laughs> These pieces have been super, super popular as well. The satin is just gorgeous. And we also have matching set. Oh, color. wow. Stunning. It's so festive. Yeah. Oh, that's really comfortable. Easy to wear. Nothing too fitted mm -hmm. or structured. That looks very comfy. It's just what you want to be wearing in lockdown. 3.0. Georgette pieces too. Wow. This comes with a vegan other bag. Yes. Gordon Buckle. Beautiful. Alamo coat that we have. It's also such a classic piece. Yeah. 90% wool and 10% sear, super soft. Wow. <laughs> this collaboration going on in Nanoha, Nanoha Studio and Nanushka. And then we also have a nine piece collaboration with Alighieri. So the necklace as well that I'm wearing is part of it. Three pairs of earrings, three necklaces, a ring set. Oh, that's stunning. Very and we're waiting for it. And it's only available in our London store. It's an exclusive piece. We have it in the black and the clay color as well. So the whole lock is Nanushka? Wow. Wow. This, is, obviously, yeah. shopping online is amazing. But when there are spaces like this, it just just really brings the collection alive, doesn't it? Wow. Wow. So this beautiful piece is actually made of regenerated leather. This is so cool. Yeah. Wow. It's amazing. Organic, oral yeah. wool. That whole look is amazing. And, and that bag is awesome. Completed vegan leather. You can wear it like this on the wrist yeah. and then like walk around cool. like this. Wow. Like, wow. <laughs> My husband would die at these interiors. Like, this is so inside. I always think the mark of a good interior is the way it affects your mood. I mean, I if it yeah. I was like, I feel actually quite sad today. It's like tier three, it's mm -hmm. so cool. that happy. And now I've come in here and I'm like, oh, <laughs> I feel so inspired again. It's this coffee table. I mean, look at him. Isn't it amazing? Oh my God, look at that magazine stand. That's 
so cool. I mean, what cool changing room? I've literally never seen a cool changing room ever. You never want to leave, do you? No. And this is so cool. And what's really special about it is that the hood is actually detachable. You also have the hoodie and then we just have the shirt. I mean, if ever there's a time to launch leisure wear sweatpants, no. now's the time. It's that beautiful wool, silk blend coat, and just vary through the hoodie and then make it more casual. The coolest store I've been to in 2020, <laughs> if not in a very long time. Even the staircase is cool. Mm -hmm. This is the original staircase. It's just being redone. So amazing. Oh, I wish I could see the penthouse. Is it really cool? Yeah. <laughs> and when will that be open? February. We'll have to come back for yeah. the grand opening. What are you going to do now, Lou? I'm just going to pull out a few pieces to try on. Does that come in any other colours? Can I try that one in an extra small? Those ones? Oh, you going to try the puffer? Oh, yeah, let's see the puffer. Yeah. It's going to be just so comfortable. I can... Oh, awesome. So cool. So comfy. It's absolutely amazing. I love it. I'd love I to try that one in the navy. Really and those ones, if that's okay. And then that was the knitted dress I was telling you about, which really amazing. I think that's enough to. Right. <gasps> How have I not seen the knitted shorts? <laughs> Nobody needs to see me in them, but they are so cool. I didn't really notice this was like a tabard when we saw it downstairs. How interesting. Ever worn a tabard trench before? No, I haven't. How do you feel? Very it's cool. cool. Is this? I love it. Yes. What are you wearing now? Oversized knitted top. I tucked it in, but it's got slits at the side, so again, really cool like over trousers. And then matching knitted skirt. So comfortable. Isn't this amazing? Skirt again. Skirt again. Two in a row. Who thought it? So soft, so comfortable, such a cool shape. Love that knot at the top. And it's cruelty free. It's cruelty free. This has got to be one of your best sellers as well, right? What are you wearing now? It is. Cashmere blend, did you say? So soft. Love the little tie. If you're entertaining at Christmas, you want something really comfortable. But look, I swear, then I think this is the perfect outfit. Love <laughs> this. This is such a lockdown outfit, isn't it? Really Knitted is. joggers. Big hoodie. And then a really smart coat. This is like the best coat I've seen without a doubt all season. You've tried everything on, been around the whole store. What is your pick of the oh, store? So difficult. I love the knitted joggers. Comfy, really handy. Knitted dress, amazing. Oh, the puffer coats, awesome. For like longevity, I'll get the coat in the name. For right now, the knitted cream cashmere dress. Such a win with some knee-high leather boots. It's super chic, but really comfortable. Thank you, guys. Thank you. How did that go? That was just amazing. It is so nice to be back in a store. And Nishka is a brand that I have followed for a while online. So to actually see store touch walk together, such an amazing and inspiring interior space. When that penthouse opens, I want to go check that out. If it's anything like those interiors, it's going to be phenomenal. Now, sadly, I've got to go back to my inbox. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, Georgie Courage Call. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Great. Full of the joys of tier three. She's got a shitload of stuff in here. It's like Aladdin's cave in what your office. What the hell could be in there? There's only one way to find out. What do you think it is? I said it was a tree or something or an indoor plant. So, this monumentous day is the final day of behind the scenes for the year. 2020. What a year it's been, Rich. What a year indeed. We got some episodes in the bank, though, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Despite this... it all, we were not defeated entirely. What's happening today? The biggest news is summer Christmas shopping. Oh, well done. What did bar you get me? One or two. Uh, bar one or two things. Much better place than I was on Tuesday. Georgie Courage Cole, for the final time in 2020, what's on your desk? Quite a lot, Rich. Loads and loads and loads. Dried flowers from Grace and Thorn. Dear Georgie, wishing you a lovely Christmas and a positive and happy 2021. Best wishes Virginia, Ellis and Camilla. I'm guessing that is Grace and Thorn because I don't know who they are. Aren't they lovely? What's next? Uh, to book. Feels like it. Oh, I love her. 21st Century Cotswolds, Volume 2, Pippa Payton. She's an amazing interior designer. Dear Georgie, I hope you enjoy my new book with very best wishes Pippa oh look her interior design I mean look at that that's incredible how clever is that you've got this amazing wood panelling quite a contemporary table and it just really really works because the danger of this is it makes me want to move to the Cotswolds yeah, look at that look at the horn chandelier the English countryside this is a beautiful place such a nice book thank you Pippa what you get what stories I really like these fragrances to prove it you see that stories number one which one have you got here oh they sent me a full size stories number one I don't know where I got that sample from I really like it. Oh, stories number one, stories number two. Full size. Oh, it's yummy. Creamy florals flecked with green and tinged with a gentle smoky sweetness. And this is number two. Popanax, Tonka Bean. I love a Tonka Bean. Patchouli Amber Musk. Sounds really up my street as well. Oh, I like that even more. Oh, really? oh I love that. Mm, they are really good fragrances. Oh. Smoking around. The Christmas tree into Christmas smoke. I like it's something. It's smoking. I'm going to get something to do with smoking. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell, 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 bell smoke. <gasps> Yes, it's for Christmas last year. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, he is Mimi would say. Look, Poppy. 
Bow in your hair. That is amazing. Yeah, I can't wait for me to put that on. This one's for coats. Have you ever seen a better nightdress than that? I've got a real thing about children in really lovely nightwear. Especially with the collar. Bit of smocked. I mean, look at that. It's insane. Cute. I literally can't bear out how cute that is. Those are one of the nicest things I've opened this year. I'm not even joking. Let's go down here. Ooh. Grange. Feels like a bottle. Oh, English sparkling wine. Ooh. Oh, hello. That looks very nice. Born. This award-winning sparkling wine is produced by Lucy and her siblings on the vineyard near our house in Hampshire. We hope you enjoy it. Thank you for your support this year. The Grange, Hampshire. That's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. So I don't like a Prosecco, but I do like a good English sparkling wine. Night in for hello. I mean, what's not to love about that? Oh, what have you got? It's cross stitch. You're so into cross stitch as well, so. Yeah, I really do love cross stitch. Do you do it a lot? No, I haven't done it since I was about 12, but. About to have a week off, so. Sweet. Did you enjoy enjoyed the sheer gold focus group last week? As I promised, I enclosed a copy of Chris Crossing Paris. Also included a copy of Twisted Stitches, a little edgier. You're making babkas, you're cross stitching. What's happened to you? I know, I know, it's the new me, right? That's what she suggests I start with. Or if you want something edgier. It's just one where you cross stitch your swear words and dicks and things. That's it, Rich. There we go, see? That's so sweet of her. Thank you, Judith. Oh, this is Paper London. I had two dresses from them this year. Dear Georgie, wishing you a very happy Christmas. Thank you so much for your incredible support. I've got those pajamas. They're so cool. English sparkling wine. I sort of trust it. More than I would trust. A cheap French champagne. Do you know what I mean? I have always been certain that our British chalky soils would produce top quality delicious wine. Very nice. Right? You know what those are? No. Massive cookies. <gasps> <gasps> oh! And they said Santa didn't exist. Turns out he does. Warm me up to get me to my gooey best. Oh, you're good at that. <laughs> yep, yeah, Rich, that's not helpful. I'm only turn it on, do you know? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Nailed it. Spence is killing me. Ooh. Oh, oh my God. Wow, it's like 50 cent chocolate. How does that taste? That's like honestly the best cookie I've ever had. Right, girls, I've got a treat for you. This is from Creme. Oh, so good. It was come out the microwave. Ooh. I mean, how's that taste? So good. It's really good. Nutty. How did that taste? And there's still something else in here. Oh, what else? Lon Good paper London. Oh, oh, love it. I love it. I love it, but I could wear it. <laughs> love it, love it. I can wear it. Oh, that's pretty. It's nice, isn't it? Paper. paper. Just sent it to me. Oh, I love that. Love it, couldn't wear it. Love it, couldn't wear it. <laughs> Oh, Icky the Elf or whatever is it? Icky the Icky. Mocky or whatever. Icky the Icky. Have you seen Mommy Goose? All I'm wearing is designer, it's expensive. I love it. I like, literally love it. Couldn't wear it. If they could send two up, that would be great. What do you think? Love it. <laughs> Couldn't love wear it. it. Apple the size? Yeah. Love it, I'm gonna wear it. Love it, I'm gonna wear it. That's uncanny. It is, isn't it? It's actually me. So I do my dance time. <laughs> this is where you're trying to push I'm it. I'm behind Tika the Icky. What are you wearing right now? I don't want to say too much because I don't want nobody buying it. I love the way you're actually practicing. People London have well and truly spoiled me. Here. Expert in anti aging from Japan. Fining lotion. The effect essence. Nourishing cream. Oh, Bicky. Yum. Love that. Oh, wow. Well, oh. Those are rather fabulous. Clarins. Join a well. Gosh. I made exclusively for Clarins. Each cracker contains a snap, a gold hat, a motto, and a gift from Clarins. Nice. But your dad can't wait to get his hands on that gift. There is some Clarins Shave Ease oil Great. and some lip balm. Frankly, I'm sure men could use all of this other than the waterproof mascara but you know I'm sure there are plenty of men who like the mascara. That is wonderful. Novo. This has become one of my fave brands and they sweetly have sent a few for the team. One, two, three, four. I have to say this is one of the best things I've been given all year. I have lived in it. It's a really thin, silky, what's it made of actually? 85% silk, 15% cashmere. That is very luxe. It's really lovely. They're so nice under a suit jacket. If you like Wolford, you'll like Novo and it's not anywhere as expensive. They're really gorgeous. They do them in every colour. Oh, she sent me white and grey. Bless her. How nice. Very nice. And what do we have here? There are another trousers. What are we saying? Pretty damn perfect. Oh, great. Oh, nice. They're really nice. Happy days? Yeah. They're a trouser, not a skinny. What do you think, Lou? Oh, really nice. They're not great with these boots. I like those boots. What do you think, Lou? Lush. One absolute win. I really like the pockets. I mean, I can't eat much turkey in these, but they are tight. But you don't really like turkey that much anyway, do you? No, I, I don't. I'm really pleased with those. I'm really pleased with those. You're going to keep them on? Yep. Oh, -ho. and this look. So you got a white one and a black one now. A white and a grey. I've already got black. And a woman messaged me on Instagram yesterday and said, Georgie, I want to invest in some nice basics. What would you say? And I said, if you can justify it, it's not the cheapest, but it's definitely not the most expensive. Then I think this brand is brilliant. Oh, Rich. Is that it? I thought it was. Until. Sleep happily, Georgie. A duvet? I think you've got a duvet. Duvet, no, it's Christmas time at all. A little smirk from Lou Huff over there, I saw. Use all your muscles. Great work. I mean, oh! <laughs> 
my trash. <laughs> <laughs> not a bean bag. Just so you know. It's not a bean bag. You can keep it in the office, but like have a rotor. Leave it there. If anyone has a three o'clock lull. That rich. What's on my desk? What are you doing? What was that? Are you releasing a single? Oh, we are. Okay. The secret now is the theme <laughs> shoes. And no one cares about yesterday. <laughs> 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 Christmas is a holiday. It's literally the best song ever. Who knew? It's called Magic Day. Merry Christmas, Georgie. <sighs> What's happening now? I think we're having a quick Christmas yeah. drink. Lee, can you come down? Oh, yeah. You on the phone to Nora? Yeah, yeah, I'm just on the phone to Nora. Can you say we need you for a quick drink? Well, we five minutes. <laughs> Heather, what's your one Christmas wish? Can we not do it in here? It's depressingly yeah. unfair. Thanks, Georgie. That's good. <laughs> okay, cool. Blue, <laughs> so what's your one Christmas wish? Oh, yeah, that's true. That's a goodie, isn't it? Georgie, what's your one Christmas wish? A holiday. Nice. Oh. Somewhere really hot and exotic. Fucking cold out here as well. Oh. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. What a shitty one it is. <laughs> this is Christmas 2020. <laughs> Woohoo! Merry Christmas, everyone. Having a great Christmas time? Yeah. You're gonna say some inspiring festive words? I'm not gonna say 2020's been a shit to you because this is not all over. But we've made the best of it and we had some rich in our lives we against did. all odds. Yeah. And all that's left to say is we wish you a Merry Christmas. Thanks, guys. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Everybody. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Bye, guys. Bye.